Welcome back. And here to discuss all things summer and royal and fun. And just so you see, I'm, I'm dressing for the occasion. Francine Brokaw, our entertainment correspondent. Francine, welcome back and tell us what we're doing this summer. Well, first of all, Disneyland at summertime is amazing, but now they've brought back their uh, nighttime spectaculars and uh, th they're amazing. I've experienced them. They're fun. They have the um, Main Street Electrical Parade, which uh, has is 50 years old, believe it or not. Wow. And they, they could, it keeps coming back and going away. And then uh, they have these little, this is a little sipper cup and it lights up just like the parade. I mean, at night you turn it on, it looks like a little parade on your Oh my God. It's, it's adorable. It's a little sipper cup. And then they have, oh God, this is, this is a popcorn bucket. And he, this is Elliot. And he's one of the favorites in the, in the electrical parade. And it's a popcorn bucket. It opens up. And after the popcorn, I suggest that you use it as a cookie jar. Oh it's my so God. Cool. Cookie jar, dog treats, whatever. Candy. Exactly. It's and it lights up. Counter. It's so cute. That's so but, cute. People are just, they, they love Elliot and they obviously they have, oopsie, he's gonna fall down. They have Elliot the, the dragon to go with him because he's right. one of the favorites. But what they're doing now is they also have World of Color, which is amazing. It is such a beautiful, beautiful nighttime show. It's over in Disney California Adventure. And it had, there's something about light and color and water that makes you feel good, you know? And, and they have all, all that spraying and, and then it's, it's beautiful. But the thing that they're doing now is they're having dinner and a movie, I mean, dinner and a show package. Oh, wow. So for, they starting around $50 and there's several locations in, in the resort that you can get your three course meal and then preferred viewing area for the show. I mean, that is that, I mean, a lot of people I know don't want to go to the rides, but they like to go to Disneyland. And this is a, a nice way to spend an evening, you know, get dinner and a show and walk around and, and look at all the all the fun goodies that they have. Yeah, a lot of my and friends do that at night. It's just a yeah, fun thing to do. It's something different, you know, you, you don't have to go on the rides. It's, it's you know, it, it's for a lot of us senior or midlife people we don't want to go on all the rides we just want to enjoy the magic and that's what this is and then they have the fabulous fireworks show and uh disneyland forever and you know what disneyland i've always said this disney, disney nobody does fireworks as well as disney no matter where you are uh, orlando they're fabulous but what i love about the the new aspect of it is the projections so my favorite place to stand, I mean, I've, I've viewed this from different areas of the park, middle of Main Street, because you've got the buildings on both sides and they've got the, the projections on there and the fireworks in front of you. And it, it's nice because like when they're playing Mary Poppins, there's shadows of the chimney sweeps going along the, the buildings and it's so, so cool it around just immerses. The visuals that's super fun it immerses everybody in in just the entire show it's fabulous but so that's that's fun for disney for southern california in the summertime but we also know and you've got your i know i know you couldn't find yours but i did I promise to get into the action so i gotta tell you this thing is not so light. <laughs> I know, and you know what? Um, I've, I've seen some documentaries with uh, Queen Elizabeth talking about how heavy all her big crowns are and how she can't wear them anymore because they're just way too heavy. But uh, there were yeah, a lot I'll of them. Yeah, I'll be off at the end of the segment, I have to say, I don't know how long I could last with this thing. So, you know, tiara's off to them. <laughs> yes, definitely. But it is, as we know, this summer is her Jubilee, her Platinum Jubilee. And they've already started. And by the time the show airs, um, the, the main four-day uh, bank holiday event will have passed and we'll be able to see what they've done. But they do have so much going on that the whole country is just 
festive, there's flags everywhere, there's signs. And it's a, it's a nice time to be, especially in London. Yeah. Yeah. It but really is. And the Brits, nobody does, nobody does pomp and circumstance better than the Brits. So they are fabulous. Them. Yeah. And I've seen some of the swag that's going around. I mean, some of it's just adorable. We'll throw some of it up on the screen just so our viewers. Yes. Just, a lot of it is yes. all fun celebrating the queen and her corgis and, but really a platinum jubilee that does not happen almost ever. This is the first time in Britain that uh, they've had a monarch reigning 70 years. It's amazing. And she has just lived up to it. She's dedicated her entire life to it. And uh, you got to give her credit. She has not faltered from uh, standing up for her people. And, you know, it, she's not a, a ruling monarch like they had in the past. She's a constitutional monarch which means she doesn't say off with your head, that kind of thing, but she does lead. She leads by example too. Well, and I do know that within the government and even among the population, I mean, she is very respected. Like her, don't like her, joke about her outfits, joke about whatever you want, but the woman has been in, in her office and served her country her whole life in one capacity yes. or another, but 70 years as a monarch is amazing. And yes, it takes a lot of dedication. So she deserves every ounce of celebration in my book. What besides parades and the public signage, and of course, I'm sure they'll have a lot of things through BBC, they'll do be running history mm -hmm. and her documentaries and things. Do you know of anything else that's happening? Yes, the garden parties all around the country. People are throwing um, parties and, and get togethers. Uh, it's it's I mean, it's just like this whole country has has come together to celebrate. And, and interesting enough, I had a special uh, on my show uh, for an hour this this last month with Lady Colin Campbell, who's a British aristocrat. And she's gone through a lot. Of, she, she talked us through a lot of what was going on and what happened in the past and present and what we can expect in the future. Unfortunately, we have to talk about when Charles ascends, which is a sad talk, topic. I mean, it's good for him, but he, when he goes up, you, you know, the queen is gone. Right, right. So, Nobody uh, think about that. So for right now, I think no. we continue to celebrate her. Yeah, let's just talk about her for now. Let's not, go, but she, Lady Colin Campbell, Lady C will come back a couple more times this year for my viewers to discuss all the the great oh. parts of, of the royal families around the world. She's just such a wealth of knowledge. But speaking of royalty, you may now call me Lady Francine. <laughs> You know, I am going to have to send you this tiara. I'm pretty sure it, <laughs> it does genuinely belong to you. So Lady Francine, what? I have my <laughs> certificate. It's from Celtic. Do you call it Celtic or Celtic? I say Celtic. Okay, Celtic titles. I thought I brought up, I was brought up with Celtic, but it, most people say Celtic. Well, okay, Celtic Lady Francine. I team in Boston, but Celtic is the <laughs> Yeah, is that's the true. What I understood. So anybody can become a lord or a lady now what's interesting is it's called celtic titles and there's this place in ardmore in um beautiful country i've seen i've seen the pictures of it for the starting at 60 dollars for a little plot of land but when you are a landowner you be, you get the title or honorary title but what's so cool about this is they're trying to preserve the land and the landscape. And so by doing this, by purchasing a section, you're saving it from development. And it, it's, it's just, it's a good deed. And you get your title. And you get your <laughs> plaque, I see. And so yes. are we talking about like a one foot square plot? Are we talking about what? a square? gardening plot what are we talking about it starts at one foot square for about 60 bucks but you can buy large sections you can buy large whatever you want but can you imagine bestowing a lord or a lady on your mother or your father or your spouse you know you are now lord uh 
of there, but not here. <laughs> right. And you and so it's a little bit like when, when I would plant trees in Israel in somebody's mm -hmm. honor or memory, but in, in honor, we would then send a note that said, and your day to water them is water. Thursday, right? Yeah. So is that a little bit like how this works? <laughs> I've done that too. But you know, you they give you besides your certificate, they give you information about where your plot is, where your section is, and you're welcome anytime to go look right. at your little section of, of the land. And, it's still there. And there's there's a little booklet with all about the, the, the history and the beauty of the country. And this is actually, if you think about it, this is an amazing gift for any, for birthdays, Mother's Day, Father's Day, anniversaries, anything, it's great. But just, you know, you have the bragging rights. You are now, I am now a lady. All right. So, well, the next time I see you, I do expect to see the tiara. And thank you, Lady Ardmore. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, Francine, Ardmore. Lady Francine of Ardmore, right? Correct. And thank you for bringing us summer at Disney and all things royal. And we will look forward to the update post Jubilee celebration. And maybe we can get back together and review what went on and really have some fun with that. Francine, as always, thank you so much for coming to share with us. It's always such a pleasure to have you. Oh, my pleasure. And you don't have you don't have to bow. Courtesy. <laughs> I, I'm just a down to earth lady. <laughs> OK, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you. <laughs> Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs>